Home Maintenance, Installing Earth Anchors. Installing earth anchors for a mobile home the old-fashioned way, manually. Inline insulation method, 4-foot helical anchors. Okay, this video is about putting in earth anchors in a mobile home. These are the earth anchors, 4 feet long and we're going to put them in by hand instead of using the machine. This is the uh, strap that ties the anchor to the trailer, to the I-beams underneath. And these are the bolts that hold the uh, strap. This is our special tool. Put the bolts in and then you put the nuts on the other side, like so. And then, once that's set up, you got a three-quarter inch socket with a three-quarter inch ratchet auger like that, and then you, you just turn it like that, crank it into the ground. So that's basically how it works. You start at the end of the trailer. The I-beam underneath the trailer are about, this is about the end of it right here. About four feet from the end. First thing we do is uh, we dig a hole. So if I put this two by four in there, you can see it goes up towards the I-beam there. That's about a 45 degree angle. And that's the strongest way to install earth anchors. Some people put the anchors vertically and that's not as strong as having it slanted 45 degrees towards the uh, I-beam under the trailer. We dug the hole down, it's about a foot deep at this point, 45 degree angle, and uh, in order to get deeper, a little easier, we use this uh, half inch hammer drill, and it's got a uh, 18 inch long masonry bit. So here's the earth anchor, get it down in the hole, and uh, here's the earth anchor going into the hole, and you can see it interferes with a I-beam up there. You have to get it down far enough in the hole so that uh, it gets past that. We start out with a pipe wrench. We turn the uh, anchor until the uh, top of the anchor is far enough away from the I-beam that we can put on the bigger uh, insulation tool.
we're putting in this uh, two by four to brace the anchors to keep it at a 45 degree angle. It's starting to get a little bit more difficult to turn the anchor now, so we're switching to the uh, three-quarter inch ratchet and socket. Putting the 2x4 in a little bit more securely. Now we have the anchor almost all the way into the ground, so we straighten it up. So now you take the bolt out once you've got the anchor lined up vertically there.
take the insulation tool off. Then smooth the dirt out around the anchor. And that's basically it for installing the anchor into the ground. Now we put in the strap that holds the anchor to the I-beam. And when you put the strap in, you put it in from the inside of the I-beam and you wrap it around 360 degrees, then attach it to the anchor. catch up there on the cardboard underlying of the trailer. Get the buckle all the way up against the I-beam. Now bring the strap around 360 degrees, put it back over the top of the strap. Sometimes it helps to put the strap a little bit to the side first and then put it over the top. Now you put the bolt into the anchor. The bolt has a square head on it and so you don't want to tighten it up at this time so the bolt can still turn so that you can tighten the strap into the bolt. There's the square head there. Now you cut the strap off to uh, 12 inches from the anchor, or a little bit less is okay. Then put the strap into the slot in the bolt. Just tighten the strap by turning the head of the bolt. Use the channel locks to hold the strap so it doesn't spring back. It takes about four or five or six turns to get the strap tight. That's complete turns of the bolt.
Here's another way you can uh, tighten the uh, bolt is to uh, use a breakover bar with a flexible head and a socket. So you turn it half a turn and then you turn the handle back 180 degrees then you turn it a half a turn. Use your uh, other hand to hold the socket so it doesn't spring back. There, it's pretty tight there, so now you tighten the nut. And the nut will draw the square head of the bolt into the square hole, and then that holds, holds the bolt in place. Here I'm adjusting the bolt a little bit to get the square head to fit into the hole. Tighten it a little bit more once you get it seated. So there you can see the square head of the bolt in the square hole. Okay, straight. Now you want to line the strap up 90 degrees from the I beam. There, that looks pretty good. 90 degrees from the I-beam. So that's how you install an earth anchor manually using the inline installation method. It's a little more difficult doing it by hand, but the machines cost $800 or uh, you have to rent them. And if you're only doing one trailer, it makes more sense to do it by hand. Also, it's a good workout. It saves uh, going to the gym and paying recreation center fees. So that's it. It's not that bad.